another episode of Gone Home. Alright, so, last episode, we searched around that wing of the house there, we searched around upstairs, and eventually we found a note, something about secret compartments. We went and found one of the secret compartments, now we're on the hunt for the other one. So, if we look at our map here, so we're in the foyer right now, so we're facing steps, we're in the, this is the hallway to the left of it, right? Uh, where that X is. So, there should be a compartment, yep. Look at that, okay. Private, do not read. So obviously I'm gonna read it. So this is Samantha Greenberg, ninth grade, 12192. So this was, yeah, three years ago. Scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy. Wrestling. Okay, I'll just leave this here for you guys wanna read it. That's the love of my life, and you can't have her. Aww. Some full turn passing first. One, two, three. Wait. Full turn passing one first. Uh, what? No. Oh, it's so close. Okay. Okay, so it's half. So we gotta find the other one. I bet you it's in the other one. What was the other one's at? Okay, so. Dad's office library. So there's another one in the library. Were these all downstairs? Okay. So okay, yes, yeah, so we're in Dad's. All right. So then we go this way, and it's on the other side of this here bookshelf. All right. Ah, there we go. Misfit, so turn it on. Okay. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous. After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Aww. Zero four five one. I kind of got a feeling that's gonna be important. Zero four five one. Zero four five one. Okay. Oh, so that's kind of cute. I like that. Wait. Zero. Following shall hold true upon my passing. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. I declare that I have no outstanding debts in my name to, to creditors living or dead. I do hereby bequeath every item of value in which I die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Albury Hill, as well as any of all personal property, mon money to accounts to my nephew Terrence L. Greenberg Jr. or Ellis of Ellis County. In the event that I. Greenberg should be present. Maybe that's. Okay. So. I mean, crazy people don't leave their houses to people. Okay. 
so now what? So we kind of figured out the little story there. I mean, at least a piece of it, right? Where do we go from here? Hmm. Up a floor. To attic, to downstairs, to downstairs. Okay, there's two downstairs. Wait, we got another X, so we gotta go. Okay, we gotta go upstairs. <sighs> another cupboard? I thought there was only three, or maybe I misunderstood. Okay. So. Alright. Alright, so we're here. Does it tell us? Okay, it does. Right? Yeah, okay. So let's go this way. This wait, yep, this way, and then right here. Did I read that right? Yeah. Ha. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Ouija board. Hello, hello, who are you? Oscar, what do you want? To come be a. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's just go with that then. Okay, so we got. So I assume it's. And here, items. Okay. To open, turn. So 0, 051. Okay. 0, 5, 1. Ah. Lonnie. Aw, Lonnie's kinda cute. Right? Okay. Uh-oh. Lonnie came over today. But everything was... different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think... You... Could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Aww. <laughs> Aww. I like this game. Okay. <sighs> to basement. Okay. Where the fuck's the basement? So right now we're in the four. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, sister's definitely lesbian. Nothing wrong with that. It's actually kind of an adorable story. Fucking open. So I wonder. Just a little theory here. So maybe mom and dad are out, possibly looking for. Her? Maybe I, I don't know. It's just a. Random thought. Let's see here. Fuck this basement. Jesus. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. I know I'd like to correlate. Thank you for having me. Well, for Thanksgiving holiday with your uh, family. Enjoy the room. <laughs> I fancy man quite. Host. Okay, 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 okay. So, there was definitely a relationship being built by the two girls. And now we obviously know um, a lesbian relationship, I guess you'd say, um, for lack of a better word or term. Sorry, I do apologize if that offends anybody. Um, but, oh, can I get. Oh, what is that? What is this? Ah, uh, whatever, I was gonna try to turn on that light. Oh wait, can I go around? <laughs> I can go around. Um Oh god. 
Oh, wait. I just read that already. I think I was upstairs. Kazuka. Caitlin? Oh, okay. So. The whole relationship deal. I guarantee you it was a ploy just to run away with each other. Furnaces. Thank God I never had to live in a house with a furnace. I would have gone mad. Fucking creepy ass shit. Anyway. So why did we need to come down to the basement? We got here. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Does it have a note on it? It does. Copy of your newly published. Oh, newly published book. Okay. Alright, let's see here. What is this? Where are we at? Servants' quarters. Ugh, that's fucking. Okay. Guess got the minute for my sinless role model with the main screens telling stories to the first mate, so okay. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, You can? And she was like, Probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. And feels so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. recording okay <laughs> so sorry guys I, that wasn't me all right uh what do we got going on here let's see let's see ah arbor hill so this is a floor plan fucking creepy as shit <sighs> i don't have a combo yet Oof, okay 1963 1957 this is uh, uh, oh, come on. Oh, creepy. Is that a body? That looks like a body. Oh, Jesus. Alright, well, we're just gonna leave here. <sighs> okay. So, but the, the, the one note back here, wherever it was, I apologize, said... They understand that it's a temporary situation until Lonnie ships out. So, Lonnie's leaving. And I guarantee you it was tonight, or today. And, or if not, little sis decided to take off after. Okay. So it's just a little classic love story, basically. And I can dig that. So many games these days are horror, action-filled, or this, that, and the other. Mason's Pharmacy changes hands. Okay. Um, action adventure -y, this, that, or the other. Ugh, creepy. It's kind of nice to see one that's slow paced. Don't get me wrong, it has that ooky, creepy fucking feel like I'm still mentally prepared for something to pop out of a fucking corner and I'm, you guys are going to hear me squeal like a little bitch. But yeah. Woman Outlaw. Appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. Should I, should I, read it? Okay. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. 
Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Hey, but yeah, that's uh, it's actually a very true statement that they made just now about um, joining the military. I mean, it's it's obvious at this point. The girls. Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> Jesus, so many old references. It's awesome. Um, homosexuals were not allowed in the army. Where the hell are we? Ah, uh -huh, we're okay. Um, so it was actually a very common place to either A, lie about it so that you could go serve your country, or B, use it as an excuse to get out. Disciplinary for Sharia appropriate materials, school grounds, phone call, okay. Did you refuse to hear us out this afternoon? Your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear you are grounded for the rest of the month for so uh, for so tough phone privileges and for uh, using the car for anything except going to and from school. We've what's that you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word of the matter. Get back on course so this doesn't. Okay. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. Mm. Mm -mm. Alright guys, we're going to cut it there. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode. Learned quite a good little bit, actually. Um, leave a like if you like, subscribe if you want more, comment if you got comments. This is Zebra Syndrome, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.